Hi everyone, welcome back to Thoughtful Thursdays. Today's devotion is entitled, Spotless. And the verse for today is John 13, 8. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no part with me. Now I'm going to read it in the King James Version. Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, not my feet. Oh, that's nine. Peter said unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I wash not you, you have no part with me. Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but my hands and my head. The lawn, green, springy turf with yellow tips of sun, sunlight spreads out like a play mat under the sprinklers. The metallic spraying contraptions shoot droplets of water in straight lines that reach up to the sky and shower back down. The yard turns into a cascading water park with kids jumping through the showers, yelling and laughing. The mud from the lake washes from their skin as they are soaked and dripping in the cool, refreshing water. This is what it is like to be washed clean of our sins by Jesus. What a relief it is to let to go to him and skip around under his sprinklers. The mud caked on our arms and legs, picked up in our imperfect, messy world, is easily drawn off by the droplets of fresh water. But the cleansing goes further. It's as if our souls step into a shower and are scrubbed spotless. We can use our own lake-like murky water to clean ourselves, but we'll never succeed in being pristine enough for God by our own efforts. Instead, like children, we let Jesus wash us perfectly for eternity. God's sprinkler system is extraordinary. The water never runs out. He invites us out onto the lawn, dirt and all, for us to run free under his spraying water, cleansing us from the inside out. Jesus, sometimes I want to try to scrub myself pure before I come to you. Thank you for accepting me and my messiest and inviting me to become spotlessly clean through your living water. Amen. That picture reminds me of when my brother and I used to play in our backyard. We had a, a spout that came off of the house and it would pour water out when it was raining and we actually sometimes bathed in our bathing suits out there. <laughs> my mom would give us a bar of soap, but it was fun and I remember there's this one song that I always used to play, we always used to like if I remember it, I'll say it in a minute. <laughs> but that is what Jesus' blood does. It cleanses us from our sins and puts us in pos a rightly position with God because otherwise we are just full of spots of sin. So it's really that easy to confess that we have sinned and we do need a washing, a regeneration to bring us back into right standing with our God, Jehovah. So, well, yep, it's summer is coming. Look at all the dandelions. I don't know if you'll be able to see. But they're there for now until my husband sprays. We'll see if I can get him not to. I wanted to make dandelion jelly, but, uh, how long do pesticides really stay in the ground? <laughs> I don't know. But we have plenty for now. All the bugs are out. All the birds are out. So it's supposed to be 70s today, 80s tomorrow, and Saturday, and then 60s again Monday. So up and down. I'm pretty sure on my walk last night I saw two possums and a snake. This is why summer is my least favorite season. <laughs> so you guys, I hope that you're all doing well and have a very blessed weekend. And uh, make sure you stay healthy. God bless y'all. Love ya. Bye.